The Mindful Life Practice. And we're going to get started on our spines today. So you're going to come onto your mat and lay your back body down. Here's someone who's that. Oh, it's Yara again. She's having some Wi Fi issues with the other. <laughs> Bring your soles of feet together and let your knees knock wide. I'm gonna look for my hair elastic. <laughs> and then just drop into your body. Drop into your breath. I don't know where my hair elastic is. I'll attempt it without it. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Drop into stillness. And then just kind of do a scan of your body. What is going on with you today? What are you working with? How's your head at? Today, for the first time in about a week, I was able to get my school inbox down to zero. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. <laughs> I mean, it was zero when I turned off my computer an hour ago. It's probably back at 89. <laughs> There's something about having that clear inbox that helps me feel a bit settled. Now send your next breath in, fill your lungs, fill your chest, fill your heart, and then just exhale to empty and release. Now I want you to visualize this breath like a wave coming in and out, crashing against the shore. rhythmically and as you drop into your breath drop into your intention why are you here today what brought you here Is it to build strength? Is it for flexibility? Is it to get centered and grounded? No right or wrong. On your next breath in, you're gonna draw your knees into your chest and give your a little bit of a hug. Give yourself a little bit of a hug. <laughs> so power vinyasa, it is a challenging practice. I want you to make a deal with yourself to move at your level, to move at your own pace, to do what feels good. Take it easy when it's time to take it easy. Let's rock into center. And then you're going to take your legs up a little bit and cross your right thigh on top of your left. So we're gonna start right away with some core, right? Cross your right arm on top of your left. So you're basically taking eagle on your back. All right, and you're gonna curl up, tap your elbows to your knee, that's one, and then release all the way back down. Let's take seven more just like this, curling up, and then releasing. Six, release. Five, release. Four, three, two and then take one more curling up 
And then we're gonna open our arms into cactus arms, keep the knees crossed. And you're just gonna drop both knees over to the left and take the gaze over to the right. So in this class, generally we will, we'll do some vinyasa flows. We're gonna to work towards a, a challenging arm balance pose. It's called Titi Basana, Titi Basana. It's a little bit like crow, but it has a lot of hamstrings. We're gonna be opening up the hamstrings today. Let's take the knees back through center and then switch the opposite way. So left thigh on top of the right, now this time, take your left arm underneath the right, and we'll do eight more of those crunches. So lifting up, and then lowering, seven more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, and then take one more, curl up, and then open your arms, and then drop both knees over to the right this time, taking your gaze over to the left. Getting a nice deep spinal twist. If it's too much with your legs crossed, you can always uncross them. Take it all the way back through center, uncross the legs. Let's do one more piece of core work. Take a yoga block if you have one. If you don't have one, it's okay. I'm gonna lift the block behind me, lift the legs up, and then you're gonna crunch up and curl. And if you do have a block, you're gonna pass it between your foot and your hands. And if you don't have one, you're just gonna pass an, an imaginary object. You don't need the block at all for this. It just helps me do this um, in a committed way, if that makes sense. So I find if I don't have the block, I might kind of half ass it a little bit. <laughs> but if you do have the block, you're fully lifting up. So if you have the imaginary one, trying to connect your palms to your feet, keeping your shoulders and your head on the earth, we're gonna take 10 more of these, nine more. Eight more, seven, you got this, six, five, four, three, two, and then one past the block, then just slide it to the side. Take the knees into the chest one more time. And then let's grab hold of our strap. So keeping your left foot on the mat, you're gonna hook the strap around the right foot and lengthen your right leg up, okay? If you don't have a strap, you can also grab onto the foot, it's okay. Or grab onto the calf or whatever. And then maybe you lengthen the left leg out. So we're getting a nice deep hamstring stretch here. Let's take five deep breaths, inhaling, and then exhaling, four, three, two, and then one. Take your strap into your right palm. You're gonna open your right foot over to the right, getting a nice stretch for the inside of the right leg. Just take five breaths here. So this is an inner groin stretch. And then take the foot all the way back up through center, cross the strap, and then lengthen the leg all the way over to the left. So left palm is around the strap, right arm is extending out, gaze over the right shoulder, and just take five breaths here. Mm 
And then take your right foot all the way back through center. Let's stretch into the opposite side. So strap around the left foot, take your right leg long, taking five deep breaths here. Strap in the left hand, open the left leg over to the left, getting that nice inner groin stretch. You can use your right palm as an anchor, five breaths. And then take your foot all the way back through center, switch it the opposite way. And then five breaths here. So what body parts are we going to focus on opening today? We're going to strengthen the core. We're going to get into the hamstrings. We're going to open through the shoulders. Take one more round of breath. All building up to our peak pose. Coming all the way back up through center. Strap to the side, let's do one last thing with the core, okay? <laughs> Interlace the palms on the back of the skull, take your knees into your chest. You're gonna cross right elbow to left knee, one, crisscross, two, three, four, five, six, nice work, seven, and then eight. Okay, come all the way back, palms onto the backs of the thighs, just do a rock and roll all the way up through crisscross, and then bring your body into a child's pose of alasana. So sit your hips back on your heels, rest your forehead, and then just take deep breaths in and out through the nose, letting your body get grounded here. On your next inhale, lift your way up into a tabletop and let's warm up the wrists in our table. So you're gonna turn your palms out to the side, okay? So like this, but on the mat. Yeah, you got it, perfect. And then you might just stay here. You might flip your palms so that fingertips are back towards the knees. And then maybe you take a little rock back and forth. So you're just getting into the wrists. Let's take one more. And then come all the way back up to neutral. Just unwind your hands. Tuck your toes under. Sit back on the heels like this. So you're up on the heels. Yeah, you got it, yeah, so nice. If it's too much for your heels to be tucked, you can always untuck the toes and just be flat like this, okay? But if you're okay with the toes tucked, stay there. Open your arms into cactus arms. And then we're going to take the right arm underneath the left, so coming into our eagle. And this is just going to open up through the backs of the shoulders. Settle your gaze, get into your breath. And then unwind the arms. And then let's stretch it the opposite way. So I think everyone here has been with me for vinyasa before. You guys know the basis of our mandala flow that we're gonna get into. Um, we're gonna move through a variation of it twice today. So the first time getting into the rhythm and then the second time we'll move a little quicker through the flow. Let's unwind the arms all the way back. Just land the palms on the mat. And then tuck your toes up and back and bring your body into your first down dog. Stay in your down dog for five breaths. I'm gonna leave you there for one more moment. See if I can grab my chair band. All right, it's official. I need to buy more hair ties. I don't know where my hair ties are. <laughs> okay, I got this. <laughs> Bend your knees, gaze forward. 
and then step your feet up to meet your hands. Find yourself in a forward fold. Grip your palms to opposite elbows and just let your head dangle and then release and rock from side to side. Let's release our grip and then take an inhale halfway lift and then take an exhale fold and then bend your knees, sit back and lift your heart up, finding yourself into your chair. Now you guys know, I think, um, Sometimes we think that our yoga teachers just like have it all together. But a lot of the times I get my hair ties from the front desk of the yoga studio because I don't have them. I lose them all the time. <laughs> Take one more breath. And then let's hinge forward. Take an inhale to halfway lift. Take an exhale to fold. Plant the palms. Step your feet back. Come into your first plank. All right, so you can have your knees on the earth if you need. I'm gonna keep my toes tucked. I want you to push the ground away, spread through the palms, spread through the knuckles, draw your navel in, press up through that space between the shoulder blades and take five deep breaths. One more inhale. One more exhale, land your right elbow, land your left elbow, take a breath, and then soften your hips onto the earth and lift your heart. And as your chest expands into sphinx, take a breath in and then take a breath out. And then tuck your toes, lift your hips up, land one palm and then the next, and then shift back to your down dog. Take your right leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog. Draw your right knee into the chest core plank, holding it here for three, for two, and then for one, step your right foot between your palms and then inhale up into a crescent. You got it. Nice, so we're gonna move a little bit quicker just as we're warming up. Okay, so breath in, hands are gonna stay up. And then breath out, your palms are gonna come forward, plant the palms, step your right foot back, and then flow through a vinyasa. So you can always take that vinyasa with your knees lowered. Inhale your left foot up towards the sky. Draw your left knee in, step the left foot between the palms, lift up into your crescent. Yeah, nice. Lower back down, step your left foot back, vinyasa. Nice. Let's do that simple flow one more time. Right leg lifts up, three-legged dog. Draw your right knee in, step your right foot between the palms. Inhale up, and then exhale down. Plant the palms, step back, vinyasa. Yeah, you got it. Left leg lifts, inhale. Draw your left knee in, step your left foot between the palms. Lift up to your crescent. Nice. And then lower it back down. Stab your left foot back and then flow. Come all the way back up to your down dog and then take three deep breaths. Bend through the knees, gaze forward. Step the feet up to meet the hands. Take a breath in, half lift. And then take a breath out, forward fold. You can grip your fingertips around your big toes. And then take a breath in as you lengthen through your heart. And then exhale to hinge forward and your elbows are gonna kind of open into this diamond shape. So your elbows are coming out to the sides if you can see from behind all of my hair. <laughs> Release that grip. And then we're gonna thread the palms underneath the feet, face up. I learned from Hug this week that this is called Gorilla Pose. So hands are face up underneath the feet. And then just take a few deep breaths. And then release your grip. Inhale to half lift. 
Exhale, fold, bend through the knees, sit back, finding yourself into a chair again. Yeah, take your palms into your heart center. Now take a breath in, lift your elbows. And then as you exhale, twist your right elbow onto your left knee. Yeah, you got it. Doesn't really matter, right or left. Either way, you're just twisting, yeah. <laughs> Come all the way back through center. Uh-huh, and then twist the opposite way. Looking good. Make sure that knee isn't coming too far forward. Send it up. Yeah, nice. Come all the way back, breathe in. And then exhale, forward fold. And then inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale to lower, plant the palms, step back to your plank. Nice, yeah, you got it. So we're gonna do one more time that Sphinx forearm plank move, okay? So stay here for five breaths. And now I want you to land your left elbow first this time. Left elbow first, then right. Finding yourself in a forearm plank. Three, two, and then one. And then settle your hips and lift your heart, breathe into your sphinx. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up. Nice, yeah, good. Forearm plank again. This time it's left palm first and then it's right palm next. And then come up to your down dog. All right, we're doing one more thing. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, I promise. Take your right leg up towards the sky. Now, if you want to, you can just do exactly what we did before. We step the right foot forward into a crescent lunge. If you want to add a little bit of spice, we are gonna bend through the left knee, get a little hop going, and gaze forward, hop the left foot all the way forward, and then inhale, land the right foot. Now you're up in a lunge. Yeah, you got it. Nice, good. Take a breath in. And then exhale, open to a warrior two this time. Nice, good. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, come all the way down, plant the palms. Draw your left knee into your chest core plank. Take it for three, take it for two, and then take it for one challenge. Can you lengthen back and keep your left toes lifted? And then move through your chaturanga with your left foot lifted. And then make your way up to your up dog. Nice. And then come back to your down dog. Good. Okay, one more. Left leg lifts up. Bend through your right knee, gaze forward, get your little hop going. Either just step your left foot or hop your right foot, land your left toes. Inhale all the way up to crescent. Nice. Open up until your warrior two. Take a breath in, reverse the warrior. Take a breath out, windmill the palms, frame the foot. Draw your right knee in core plank, three, two, and then one, step it back, and then flow through your vinyasa. Oh wait, the foot was supposed to be lifted that time. There we go. <laughs> Come all the way back to your down dog. And then you choose what to do here. You can drop into a child's pose. You can stay up in your down dog. You can grab a sip of water, towel off of sweat. We're ready to get into the main chunk of our flow. All right, next. So from your down dog, let's take our right leg up towards the sky, three-legged. Bend through the right knee, stack the hips. If you want, you might ripple forward. Flipping your dog, landing your right toes, outer edge of the left foot, lift your heart. Nice. Yeah, come all the way back, take your right knee into your chest, hold it for three, for two, and on one, I want you to step your right foot long, land onto your left heel, and then inhale up into your rock star. Come all the way back, land your left palm, Roll onto the outer edge of the left foot. Take your right palm up towards the sky. Yeah, finding your plank. Maybe you're lifting the right leg up. Maybe not. 
and then take a big step forward with your right foot. Nice. Yeah, you're finding yourself into a warrior two. So you're going to lift all the way up, land your left heel, and then open your arms. Let's move through our four flows. Movement with breath, breath with movement. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Three more, inhale. And then exhale. Two more. And then one more. And then let's land in the extended side angle and just take three breaths. If you want to reach down towards the mat, go for it. Come all the way up into your warrior two. Lengthen through your right leg. Shorten your left stance a little bit. So shorten the foot a little bit. Hinge forward. And then take your right arm alongside your right leg and lift your left arm up towards the side. So familiar pose, triangle. Shift weight onto your right foot. Land your right fingertips, lift your left leg up. Oops, finding yourself into your half moon. It's okay if you lose your balance. It's okay if you fall. Take your left palm back down now. Frame the foot. I want you to walk your feet, or sorry, walk your hands close towards your right foot. And then lift your left leg high, high, high. Take it three. Standing splits, two, lift it higher, one, and then bend through your right knee, step your left foot all the way back. We're gonna lift all the way up now, turning your toes towards the sidewall, and then hinge it forward. And this time your forward fold, I want you to walk your hands as far back as you can so you're really getting deep into this forward fold. I know some people like to go into headstand here. I'm not encouraging headstand over Zoom just because I can't see what you're doing. <laughs> so if you want to do headstand, maybe do it after Zoom. <laughs> Let's come all the way up. And then you're going to turn your left toes to face the back of the mat. Come all the way back up to stand and then hop your right foot in a tiny bit, shorten your stance. You're long for your left leg. Your right foot is in on a 45 degree angle. And then we're gonna choose an arm variation here. We're gonna take our palms together at heart center behind the back. Okay, so it's like this. I don't know if you can see me. If that is not working for you, keep your hands here in front. It's cool. All right, lift and lengthen, and then hinge forward. So you're stretching into that left leg. Take one more breath. And then lift all the way up. Bend for your left knee. Good, yeah, lift off of your back heel. Nice, yeah, so your hips are pointed towards the back of the mat now. Take your palms up overhead, good. And then take your palms into your heart center. And now you're going to twist towards that left knee. So it's right elbow onto the left knee. So you're coming into a twisted low lunge. Nice. Okay. Start to trust weight onto your left foot and step your right foot to meet your left. So now you're in this twisted chair at the back of your mat. Take one more breath. Come all the way back up through center. Come all the way up to stand. Take your right knee into your chest. So lift your right leg. And then lengthen your right leg in front of you. Just finding this balance. Take three. Take two. And then take one. Cross your right ankle in front of your left. Yeah. Lift onto your tippy toes. Little quarter swivel. Now you're facing the side. If you're all mixed up, that is okay. It's fine. Land the heels. Step your left foot long towards the front of the mat again. Good. It's like a circular motion around your mat. If you're lost, it's okay. We're all lost right now. <laughs> Bend through your left knee. Take your arms open, warrior two. Okay, let's inhale, reverse the warrior. 
And then exhale your palms to the front of the mat, lift off of the right heel, land onto your right knee. Let's get a little bit into the left um, leg. <laughs> so walk your palms back, lengthen over your left leg, and then take three breaths, inhaling, and then exhaling, hinging. Inhale, and then exhale. And then one more breath. Good, and then walk your palms forward. Keep your right palm on the mat, take your left palm up towards the sky, and then come into a low twist. So maybe you're gripping onto the right foot if you can. You don't have to, you can also just have the hand on the sacrum. And then let's release that foot, land the left palm, tuck the toes. So you should be now back at the front of your mat. Step your left foot back. It's okay if you're at the back. <laughs> Move into a chaturanga and then all the way back up to your down dog. So um, I think these mandala flows are sometimes easier when we have like a full room of people and we can all follow the direction of the others. <laughs> so you should be all the way back in your down dog now at the start of the mat. And we're gonna move through that flow on the opposite side, okay? So you start by lifting your left leg. Bend through the left knee, ripple forward, and maybe you flip your dog, landing onto the left toes, landing onto the right outer edge of the heel, lifting your heart. And then come all the way back into center, take the knee into the chest, take three, take two, and then on one, you're gonna extend your left leg out and then come into a rock star. I feel like a rock star just like flipping my hair. <laughs> Come all the way back, land onto the right foot, her right hand, lift your left arm up towards the sky. Now you're in that side plank, take it for three, take it for two, and then one, step your left foot all the way forward. Come all the way up into a warrior two. Yeah, you got it, nice. Okay, inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, extended side angle. Take three more flows just like this. Inhale. And then exhale. Two more, breath in. And then breath out. And then one more, breath in. And then one more, breath out. Nice. And then if you want to reach your left arm long towards the mat, go ahead. Come all the way up, lengthen through your left leg, shorten your stance a little bit. You're gonna hinge at your body forward, reach, 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 left palm forward, left arm alongside right leg, Trikonasana, triangle. And then start shifting your weight onto your left foot and left fingertips as you reach your right leg up towards the sky. Nice, yeah, you got it. All right, let's take that right palm down now and walk your fingertips back towards the left foot as you lift your right leg high, give it three, lift it higher, two, and then one, bend through the left knee, step the right foot all the way back, come all the way up. Yeah, good. All 10 toes are facing the side wall now. Your palms can be open. Yeah, nice, you got it. And then hinge forward. And then walk your palms as far back as you can, drawing your body deeper into this forward fold. Take one more breath. Then slowly tilt all the way up. Hands onto the hips. Turn your right toes to the back now. This is where we turn. Step your left foot in. Yeah. 45 degree angle, yeah, yeah, you got it, nice. Hands can be at the back of the heart or they can be at the front and then inhale and then exhale, hinge forward. So this is all in the plan to kind of loosen and deepen the stretch into the hamstrings. Or titi basana, titi basana, I think I'm saying that right. Take one more breath and then come all the way up, bend through your right knee. 
Wiggle your left foot back, 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 lift off of your back heel. Now take the palms up, whoops, <laughs> hands into heart center. Take your inhale, lift. Yep, on your exhale, twist, left elbow, right knee. And now you're going to trust that your right foot is gonna hold you and you're gonna step your left foot to meet your right and sit a little lower. Stay in this twisted chair, three, two, and then one, come all the way up to stand. Take your left knee with you. Lengthen your left leg in front of you. Give me five, four, three, two. Nice work. One, cross your left ankle in front of your right. Taking your palms up. Little quarter swivel now. Land through the heels. Step your right foot wide. Turn your right toes to face the front of the room. Bend through the right knee. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, come all the way up. Windmill your palms to the mat. Nice, good. Let's get into the hamstrings a little bit. So land on your left knee. Walk your fingertips back. Lengthen over the right leg. Give me three breaths. Inhale, and then exhale, hinge, breath in. And then breath out, fold. One more breath in. One more breath out. And then walk your palms forward. Keep your left palm where it is. Spiral your right palm up towards the sky. Nice. And then let's come into that quad stretch twist. So maybe you're grabbing hold onto the left foot. Maybe not. All right, let's release that foot now. And you're gonna tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, and then step your left foot forward. Take your heels out, your toes in, and bend the knees and sit into your Buddha squat. Nice. Okay, so we are gonna play for a moment in Bakasana. And when I was researching Titi Basana today, um, I read a really interesting blog post by a pretty famous yoga teacher, Jason Crandall, and he was explaining how crow pose and Titivasana are actually very similar. Similar in that we're expanding and lifting through the back body and similar in that it's an arm balance. And the difference is that our legs are just open instead of knees in flexion, okay? So we are gonna practice crow just to get into the kind of shape. <laughs> if you don't wanna practice crow, just stay here or take child's pose or, um, work on your chaturangas, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you do want to practice crow, we're going to plant our palms. Yeah, nice. We're going to lift our bottoms up into the air. I like to wiggle my feet in a little bit closer together. That's what works for me. And then create a connection of knees on the armpits. Start to trust weight onto the fingertips. Maybe you lift one foot. Maybe you lift the next gaze forward. It is okay if you fall. There's this video of me on Instagram just face planting this pose. You're still a good person if you fall. <laughs> take three, take two, and then take one. Maybe you can hop back. I am not there yet. I'm just going to step back, and then I'm going to vinyasa. All right, cool. How are we doing? We're okay. Any bruised egos? I didn't see if anyone fell. I wasn't looking. <laughs> I can't see through all my hair. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna pick up the same flow. We're gonna add a little bit of flair to it. Okay, so take your right leg up towards the sky. Bend through the right knee, stack the hips. Maybe you ripple forward, you roll onto the outer edge of the left foot, you land your right toes, you lift your heart towards the sky. Yeah, thanks. Come all the way back, take the right knee into the chest. Good. Maybe you rock start, landing onto the right foot, lifting the left arm up. Come all the way back through center. Roll into that side plank. Choose your variation, three, two, and then one, step your right foot forward. Right palm to the inside of the right foot. And this time we're just gonna come all the way up into an extended side angle. So you're gonna land onto the left heel, take your left palm up towards the sky. Okay, now if you want to bind, you might bend through the right elbow enough so that your shoulder lowers, wrap your right arm under, grab hold of your left palm and your right palm, and then you might just stay here. 
Many of us have been working on Bird of Paradise over the past month, so you might take your Bird of Paradise. Stepping your left foot forward, lifting all the way up. And if this is your first power vinyasa, you don't have to do it. Whoa, I'm falling all over. There's some people that have taken like 75 of my yoga classes in the past six weeks. Oh my goodness, I'm so out of balance. <laughs> and so we throw in these challenging poses so that they continue to progress so they don't plateau, but not everyone has to do it. Step your right foot back, step your left foot back, come all the way back up, and then just lengthen through your left leg. Hinge forward, right arm alongside right foot, triangle. Start to shift weight onto your right foot and right fingertips. Find your Ardha Chandrasana, your half moon. And then take your left palm down, walk your fingertips back, lift your left leg, take three, standing splits, two, and then one, step your left foot all the way back. Let's come all the way up. We're gonna windmill all the way around. We're coming into our twist on the opposite side. So step your right foot in that 45 degree angle, facing the back of the mat now, breathe in. Exhale, hinge forward, taking your pyramid pose, just three breaths. And then bend through your left knee, lift your right heel, lift all the way up, take your palms into your heart center. Yeah, you got this. Land your right elbow onto your left knee. Nice, yeah, good. Step your left, your right foot forward. You're in this twisted chair. And if you want to come into your twisted bakasana, your crow, you land both palms, you rest your hip and your knee, and then you lift the toes and you gaze forward, take three, take two, and then one step all the way back. One more thing, come all the way to stand, take the right leg with you. If you want to cross, grab hold of your right big toe with your fingertips, and then extend your right leg, go ahead, and then take three deep breaths. And then cross your right foot in front of the left. Inhale, palms up. Quarter swivel, turn, land the heels. Yeah, you got this. Step your left foot wide, turn the left toes back to the front of the mat. Bend through your left knee. Cool. Yeah, you made it. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, come forward, plant the palms. Step back in vinyasa. Okay, one more flow. That's it, I promise. One more flow, tiki basana, and then cool down, okay? Left leg up towards the sky. Bend through your left knee, stack the hips. Maybe you flip your dog coming all the way forward. Three, two, one. Take the knee into the chest. Three, two, one. Jump into your rock star, land the left heel. Lift your right arm up towards the sky. And then come all the way forward. Land your right palm. Move into your side plank. Take a big step forward with your left foot. Left palm to the inside of the left foot. Take your right arm up towards the sky. Yeah, good. So maybe you're here. Maybe you wrap the arms back, interlace the palms. And then maybe you step the foot forward, coming all the way into your bird of paradise. Perhaps I will be more balanced on this side. Oh my goodness, nope, I'm done. <laughs> some days you got it, some days you don't. Just take three more breaths wherever you are. And then come meet us in upright. Nice, yeah, good. Lengthen through your left leg, walk your right foot in a little bit, hinge forward, and then take your left arm alongside your left leg. Good. From your triangle, you're gonna shift weight forward onto your left palm and your left foot and lift your right leg up. Take three breaths. 
and then land your right palm. I want you to walk your fingertips back, lift your right leg higher, take three breaths. And then bend through the left knee, step the right foot back and let's windmill all the way around. So right toes are going to the back of the mat now, lengthen through your right leg. Left foot's on 45 degree angle. Inhale your palms up and then exhale forward. Take one more breath. Bend through the right knee, come all the way up. Yeah, let's off to the left heel, you got it. Palms into heart center. Take your twist. Left elbow, right knee. Step your left foot forward to meet your right. Maybe you sit back, you land the palms, create that shelf, fly in your twisted crow. Take three, take two, and then take one, come all the way up. Lift all the way up to stand. This time I believe it is your left knee that comes with you. Interlace your fingertips around the left big toe if you can. Lengthen your leg out. Take three breaths. Nice work. Land that left foot back down. You got this. Lift onto the dippy toes. Do your little swivel. Land your heels. Step your right foot all the way forward. Turn your right toes to the front of the mat. Find yourself back in this warrior two. And then let's inhale, reverse. Let's exhale, windmill forward. And then this time you are gonna step your left foot up to meet your right. All right, so running over time again. <laughs> we have 10 minutes left. We're gonna go to Titivasana and then um, start to cool down, okay? Because I promised this. So this arm balance we're working on, we are just gonna play around with it, see how it goes, okay? so. In your forward fold, I want you to walk your feet a little bit wider than normal. Yeah, bend through your knees enough so that you can take your palms onto the mat. I'm gonna actually turn so you guys can see. Okay? Walk your palms back and around your body. Oops. So your palms go back and they go around your feet. And then basically you're gonna sit your bottom back on your upper arms. Yeah, okay. Your bottom is still up in the air. Yeah, you got it, yeah, sir. Nice. And then maybe you can shift your weight onto your back or onto your elbows and lift your feet up. This is called firefly pose. I'm gonna come look. Yeah, John, let's see. Yeah, John, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a hard fall. Yes, Alexandra, almost. Try again, yeah, sir. Oh my God, I love gallery mode. It's so awesome. Cool. And know that the pose is not the goal. It doesn't matter if you can do it or not. Yeah, sir, you need your arms to be lower. More of a bend through your elbows. Yeah, like your, your legs need to be higher. That makes sense. <laughs> like all these poses that we try, <laughs> we will come back to it. Yeah, MJ, you got it. Yeah, MJ said it on Instagram today, he always falls when he tries this, but it looks like he almost got it. <laughs> and know that it's okay to fall, right? We don't learn anything. Or, no, that's not the right thing I want to say. We learn the most from falling, that's what I want to say. <laughs> cool. All right. A lot of falls. When you're ready and when you're done, you can just come into a child's pose. Nice work, you guys. I hope you're really proud of yourself. It took me like four years of yoga to even try crow, vakasana, because I was so afraid of falling. It's mostly fear that holds us back, right? It's mostly fear that gets in the way of things. When we face our fears on our yoga mat, we 
start to learn how to face our fears in our life. All right, so we did a lot of hip opening. We did a lot of kind of inward forward folding. So let's just counter that with a nice back bend. So roll all the way up to seated on the heels. Take your feet to the side. Walk your feet forward. And then just slowly roll down. And Yogi's choice, you can come into a bridge or you can come into a wheel. I have to tell you guys something. So Neve, who is here, Neve and I worked in Kuwait together. She was like a huge support to me when I was there, a very important person in my life, my first year. Anyway, I remember that her favorite pose was shoulder stand. <laughs> she came to my yoga class on Sunday and I promised we would do shoulder stand and then I forgot. <laughs> so I said to her, if she came back, we would do shoulder stand. So we're all gonna take shoulder stand. <laughs> One more breath in whatever back bend you're in. And then just slowly roll back down. And then you have two choices. And choice number one is just lift your arms up and lift your legs up. This is a waterfall. Okay, and then choice number two is to land your elbows, lift your bottom, press your palms onto your back body and walk your hands up your back. This is your shoulder stand. If you have any pain on your cervical spine in your neck, then back off, all right? But if it feels good, then stay. And come all the way down. And then take your knees into your chest. Let's just take it into a twist. So open your arms into cactus arms, drop your knees over to the right and take your gaze over to the left. Come all the way back through center and then twist the opposite way. Take your knees into your chest, give yourself a hug. Thank yourself for, for showing up. That action alone is huge, no matter what you did or did not do, or capable of or not capable of. The fact that you made it here is all that really matters. So acknowledge yourself for that. And then for the last, five minutes of our practice. You can take seated or you can take Shavasana. So you know we are definitely considering making these power classes 75 minutes because I clearly cannot do it in 60. <laughs> so that might be on the schedule for next week. But for now, we just got a few minutes here breathe and to be. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. All your life, you were only waiting for this moment to arrive. Blackbird singing in the dead of night, 
Take these sunken eyes and learn to see all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to be free. Blackbird, Blackbird, Blackbird. Into the light of a dark black night, blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly all your life. You are only waiting for this moment to arrive. Your fingers and your toes a little wiggle. Run a nice long stretch from fingertips all the way through toes. If you're in seated, you can just stay in seated. And if you're ready to make your way up from Shavasana to seated, you can come and join us. We're going to take our palms to heart center. It is 4.59. If you have to get going, I will not be offended. <laughs> you can join for a minute more. We are going to take an ohm sound. So when you're ready, inhaling and then exhaling, and then inhaling through to make the ohm. So breath in. Breath out. Breath in. We close with an intention. The ancient intention, but the original intention. It's been passed from heart to heart, year after year. It's that our yoga practice remain steady that our efforts remain continuous, that our yoga practice serves and benefits all beings everywhere. May all beings be happy, be healthy, be free. May the thoughts and actions of each of our lives contribute towards this. Om Shanti 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 Peace Namaste. The Mindful Life Practice